So, celebration caper. I don't know if you can see my number. Yeah, down at the quay today. So an eight hour follic lep race, but hopefully I'll do four laps and do half marathon. Legs feel very tired today. And how I'm doing is a little bit achy for my workout on Thursday. I'm um, calves of achy because I slipped in the bathroom on Tuesday. But hey ho, we're here. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I think it's going to be quite a warm morning um, here in Exeter. So hope you guys are all having a good weekend, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing park run today as well. Today is also end to end dot run, um, virtual run for 5k, as many 5k's as possible around the world. Um, so what I've got on today, my hydration vest, my Mizuno trainers, my Attain cap, love these caps, really light, really breathable. Um, their new sets are out, so go and buy yourself a new cap. Um, not just for summer, it'll keep the rain off as well. I will link description down below for you, of course. So yeah, a um, bit nervous today, I don't know why. I mean, I did two halves like two weeks ago, so I don't know why I'm nervous. Because it's new and body's aching, but yeah, it'll be okay, won't it? Absolutely okay. Um, of course, I'll pick you up along the way. As I say, going to be beautiful down the quay here in Exeter. Um, each lap is over 5k. My friend Kathy is marshalling, so it'd be great to see her every lap as well. And yeah, so any of you running Celebration Caper, please pop the comments below and let me know how you did later on. So yeah, I'll pick you up, of course, later. And yeah, it's going to be a nice morning. I have got sun tanation on. So yeah. So, on lap two now, so just after lap two. Um, sun's gone in now, but it's still really humid. So just taking it nice and easy. So heading back kind of towards Exeter before swinging back round the other side, up to Bridge Road and back in. So yeah, just taking it nice and easy and just having fun. Don't know what's wrong with my camera. So going really weird. So yeah, on this side, back into Exeter and opposite on the opposite side of the road. So a view over to the quay and you can see Exeter Cathedral in the distance. So well into the third lap now, kind of come to halfway. Loads of people here doing using this as that kind of last long run before the London Marathon or the virtual London Marathon so they're using this to get their long miles in so that's really good because it's all supported and you just keep going and do the laps to reach your miles so this is a really good event for that because it's fully supported you can stop kind of every lap have a drink have something to eat and then carry on so yeah nice and red so yeah, I'm going to be trialling baby food today, Ella's kitchen, I'm going to see how it goes because I want to try to see how it compares to gels. Of course it's got natural sugars in from the apple but we haven't got all the man-made sugars. So we're going to see how it goes and I'm going to take that probably towards the end of the third lap. So yeah, on and off we go. My friend Cathy who is marshalling. So 
on lap four. So final lap. Did take my Ella's kitchen. Very nice to have something real food. I did spill some onto my foot, which is annoying, and it's quite small. So I think the strawberry ones were bigger, bigger packet. So I use those, and I could easily take a couple of apples. So maybe one and a half mile halfway. So six miles. I think that'd be a good plan. But yeah, it's really nice to have tasty apple, stewed apple, rather than sick sweet gel so yeah i have got some haribo with me if i need to but yeah onwards and upwards so probably three only half a mile into this this last lap so yeah okay so all done just under the two and a half hour mark so very pleased with that because it's very very warm out there especially the last lap um it's a long drag from like the bridge where you kind of walk in from marsh barton to the bridge road swing bridge seemed to go on forever but yeah all done very pleased and got a fancy medal like all the bubbles move so that's really exciting a bottle of prosecco also got a little bottle of prosecco which is very nice might donate that to mummy and also a buff you've got a choice of colour so I've gone for like a blue purpley colour um, so yeah all done yeah very hot and sweaty um, yeah really warm out there not much shade but very glad I've done it yeah legs are tired calves a bit stiff so we'll stretch foam roll and hopefully be okay so thank you very much so yes as part of this i have done the virtual 5k for the end to end dot run world record attempt so yeah all done really really pleased with it so mar half marathon number 41 done hope you guys have been enjoying the sunshine it is glorious here in devon very busy down the quay. Loads of people cycling, running, paddleboarding, kayaking along the river. So really nice. So thank you very much for joining me along. And yeah, hashtag killing it. So Sunday and it was time for the Ocean City Plymouth Half Marathon. Um, we start up at the Ho, you can see Smeaton's Tower, which you can still climb. I ran with Lisa from the Run Venture Running Hub store in Tavistock. We chat on the phone every week, but we've never met. And we ran it together and we had a fantastic time chatting all the way. And it really made the race something special to run it with a friend. So thank you so much for joining us today. We are just 15 minutes away from the start of the half marathon. Uh, real warm welcome to all of you. Uh, this in particular being one of the first post COVID-19. So there's a long, windy, windy hill to get you to the finish.